Can you hear me? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, and people of the press, my name is Ian Hecox, and I am president of the comedy channel Smosh. It has recently come to my attention that a behavior of mine that I thought was normal is in fact disgusting and completely unacceptable. My hope today is that by highlighting my inexcusable behavior, I can prevent many young men from committing the same horrible acts that I have. So with that said, it's time I came out and told you all why I brought you here today. Effective immediately, I will be peeing sitting down. For my whole life, I have been peeing standing up. I realize the damage I've done, and there's nothing I can do to take back the countless toilet rims, walls, floors, and decorative towels that I've soiled with my own urination. Here's an illustration that I made to demonstrate the kind of damage that I do on a daily basis with my pee. The blue is my pee. You see, I was raised in a time where boys were supposed to do boy things. And if you strayed from that norm, you were ridiculed. A boy that would pee sitting down could risk his entire reputation if his male friends found out. Ha ha, you pee stupid, they would say. Or look at Ian, he pees out of his butt. Unfortunately, I embraced that toxic outlook and let it push me into a corner that defied logic and facts. So from now on, if I have to pee, I will do so sitting down. Yeah. Up until recently, I always assumed that the pee stains I saw outside my toilet were the result of someone else, a messier, reckless mystery urinator. But when I started living on my own, I looked at the pee stained wall next to my toilet and asked myself, who is the real reckless peer? I quickly realized it was me. So then I had to ask myself, is there a way that I could still pee like a man standing up without splashing pee outside of the bowl. I tried for years, thinking that if I hit the side of the bowl, it would avoid the splashing that occurs when you pee straight into a pool of water. But no matter my angle of approach, that merely created a ricochet effect that splashed pee on the toilet, on the walls, and on myself. The blue is my pee. I also understand that America is divided on this issue. A 2007 study showed that only 42% of married men sit down to pee. For the other 58% of married men, the thought of sitting down on a toilet without letting out a poop or at the very least a wet fart would be an effeminate thing to do. I'm hoping today we can change that with science. We have drawn a model to show the kind of damage a stand-up peer can do in a household bathroom. To make things fair, we've used a healthy male in his 30s, peeing from a height of 64 centimeters with a flow rate of 20 milliliters a second and a PSI of 0 0.015. In other words, me. The urine stream breaks into droplets 15 to 20 centimeters after emerging from the urethra. For a typical male in toilet, the opening of the urethra is only 13 centimeters or less above the surface of the water when sitting. When standing, the urine breaks into droplets 45 to 49 centimeters above the water's surface. The rapid procession of droplets impacts the surface violently, creating splash curtains, deep cavities, and jets. That's your pee on the wall. That's your pee on the toilet rim, on the floor, on your toilet paper, on your pants, on your shoes, everything. And if you add in variables such as bad aim, being drunk, a strong or erratic flow, or morning wood, the results can be devastating. That blue, is your pee. The blue is your pee. All right, well, I only have a few minutes for questions because I do have to go pee. Ian, Ian, over here, over here. Uh, Mr. Ian, 
Mr. Hecox, you have fans who will say this is a mockery of the bathroom and think you should go f yourself. Is that a question? No, I'm just angry. Okay. Uh, you. So what about public bathrooms, like airport toilets? Well, I think we can all agree those are super nasty to sit on and are exempt from this rule. So what you're saying is men should use the toilet to pee and a urinal to poop? If that's what you're getting from this, sure. Uh, Ian, Ian, uh, what would you say to someone if they just saw this video and said it's only clickbait? Well, I think that's just the cries of somebody that doesn't see the importance of not pissing on your own stuff. Do you really expect this press conference to change the way men pee? Uh, no, not really. People be nasty, so my expectations are low. But if I could convince one person, just one person, to go into their bathroom the next time they go to take a standing pee and look at their toilet and ask themselves, must this be the way? Then maybe there is hope for us all. Thank you. No more questions and uh, pee strong. Well, there you have it. YouTuber Ian Hecox announces to the world in an overly elaborate way that he will be peeing sitting down like a little girl. I, for one, will be peeing standing up just to balance things out. We are now getting word that we have a new announcement from YouTube sensation Damien Haas, where we will go live right now. Hello, my name is Damien Haas, and I'm taking this opportunity to announce I don't really like dogs. People like me exist, all right? Just lean into it, because you, we're here and you gotta deal with it. And also, I, I mean, they're fine, but I just don't like them as much as cats. And there's a war going on between the two, and you have to pick a side. I'm also announcing right now that I'm currently writing a musical about cats, but it's a different one. It's gonna be way different. It's a new one I made up, and I will be singing it for you now. It's about the cat and dog war. Um, why must we fight? Why must we battle when both of us are mammals? Both of us are mammals. Why must we fight? Why must we battle when both of us have buttholes? Both of us have buttholes. All we do all day is sleep and eat. All we do all day is lick our owner's feet cause we're cats and dogs. It's raining us. Now let's all get on the cat bus from Totoro. Totoro. It's Totoro. It's my neighbor Totoro, my neighbor Totoro, Totoro, come on, you know this, Totoro. Sing your part, you'll be alto. You're here, you are here, and you're singing. We are cats and we're dogs, <laughs> we're cats and we're dogs. We both are animals, both are animals. Cats and we're dogs, we're cats and we're dogs. We both are animals, both are animals. We don't like them. <laughs> <laughs>